everyone. Uh, this is Demarion Jones. I'm Noah Allen. Kristen Gibson. And I'm Allison Causey. And uh, this is actually episode five of SCC's The Gateway. So uh, really looking forward to this next episode. Uh, you know, it's, it's just really student-based today. Uh, but, you know, just, just giving our perspectives on, uh, you know, actually uh, Allison's recent interview, uh, you know, actually with NPR. And, uh, you know, just her thoughts afterwards. And, uh, you know, also what we're really looking forward uh, to get into for, uh, you know, the second half of 2020. Mm -hmm. So uh, starting off, you know, uh, actually... <clears throat> Actually, who are you? So, you know, from, from two perspectives. So kind of, you know, from a coffee shop perspective, you know, a lot of us don't really uh, don't really know you too well. Um, so, you know, uh, and also from the other perspective, kind of, you know, if, I, if I've known you for seven, eight plus years, how would you just say, you know, who is Allison Kalski? Well, to give you the coffee shop, <laughs> um, I would say that I, my name, well, first of all, I would introduce myself as Allison Kalski. Okay. And... I would probably tell you that I'm very hardworking and ambitious. I uh, work multiple jobs plus go to school, and uh, it's it can be tough at times. But I also enjoy, you know, pushing my limits mm -hmm. and seeing what challenges I can take on and overcome. Um, also, I even though I like to work and you know, have little time uh, to myself. I do like to have fun, and I like to be around my friends. I love to read. I love listening to music. That's I just, awesome. I love it. And just going for nice, peaceful walks. And even though I don't look like it, I like to run. So, <laughs> but, and for the seven plus years version, uh, I think you would know right off that I would be very hardworking uh, and all the stuff that I just told you. And also that I can be very generous and kind. If you ever need to ask for help, I will help you in any way that I can. Mm. So, and just, I have friends that feel comfortable coming to me for help. Um, I know during the whole pandemic, even though we weren't supposed to have contact with people, I helped a friend move from an, an apartment to her first house. Mm. So, yeah. Awesome. awesome. So let's kind of jump into one of the topics here. It's uh, how the shutdown affected you and your education. So the question would be, what was your reaction finding out about the college moving online back in the spring 2020 semester? So my reaction, it was kind of disappointing mm -hmm. because with my program that I was in, I was in the medical laboratory technician program. We have a clinical component mm -hmm. and that ended. Mm -hmm the site I was at, which was the Manchester Hospital in Clay County, they said, we can't allow students right now. Uh, not until we have a better idea as to what's going on with COVID-19. And that was back in March when everything was shut down. Mm -hmm. So that was a bit of a disappointment because that told me I probably was not gonna graduate on time. Mm -hmm. And during the lecture portion, one of my instructors told us online, I'm going to have to give you all an incomplete mm -hmm. on the clinical aspect. Mm -hmm. So that just really that put a downer on me. Mm -hmm. um, but thankfully, my clinicals, they ended. I was able to go back, I believe, in late July. And then it ended a couple of weeks after school started mm -hmm. in August. So glad that's done. Mm -hmm. um, but as for the lecture portion of the course, we were able to complete it. So, but yeah, and I have successfully completed it. Awesome. So did you graduate with that degree? Yes, awesome. I did. Awesome. So only thing I have to do left is just take my boards and then I can go get a job. Nice. Awesome. So what kept you motivated during the pandemic in your studies? I know uh, you said it was very disappointing when you found out that you couldn't do your clinicals and some of that kind of changed your plans onto when you were going to graduate. What kept you motivated? I made sure to quote unquote, surround myself with very positive, forward thinking friends and family. Um, many of them knew that I had been working on this for a long time. And some people call me stubborn. I prefer to be headstrong. <laughs> um, so I really just wanted to complete that goal of getting that degree. And also I have other academic goals uh, on the 
interview, I wanted, I said that I wanted to either go to medical school or get my PhD and do research in a lab. Mm -hmm. So I know that getting that associate's degree would definitely set my foundations and then build up from there. Mm -hmm. So that's what kept me motivated. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. So, like, how how did you feel that your life and education changed, like, from the shutdown? So a lot of times, you know, even talking with, you know, people from, like, so many different industries, they've either had to pivot or either drop something that they were doing beforehand or they just found, like, a deeper interest in something that they've kind of put off. So which, you know, how how, how do you feel that, you know, you've really changed from the shutdown? How I have changed is to not take interactions for granted because I was away from my classmates and from my instructors and just the campus life. It really made me realize since I live alone, how much I relied on socializing with people. Mm. I think we as students, we get aggravated on having to drive to campus or do campus work, but there's a social socializing aspect to it. And we definitely take it for granted. I think, um, also, it was a time of self-reflection. Well, it still is a time of self-reflection. It made me realize my strengths, and it's also made me realize my faults as a person, and I'm gradually learning to accept it. Mm. Uh, also, it kind of helped generate new interests mm. in a way. Uh, right now, I'm kind of interested in businesses and how they work. Mm-hmm. Since yes. I work in so many I work in a different variety of fields. I'm just wondering how businesses work in general. So I'm thinking about doing business courses. So we'll we'll go from there and we'll see. I kind of like it. So you mentioned you've you've been working multiple jobs. What was that like working? um, I think in your interview you said you were working three. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Um, What was that like working those multiple jobs while also trying to pursue a higher education? It was tough. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, definitely since one of my jobs is in an emergency, emergency medical technician at a local ambulance service mm-hmm. and all this stuff about COVID-19, how, uh, how we needed to, we call it monkey suits. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's basically just this white suit covering us from head to toe and we had to wear, well, we still have to wear face shields, um, sanitize before in every, uh, patient contact Mm -hmm. so that got me really worried and also with tutoring here at SCC I wasn't worried as much Mm -hmm. because they were luckily able to set it up to where I can just tutor people at home Mm -hmm. and all I had to use or at home or on campus was um, just by the camera of my laptop Mm -hmm. Uh, and then with making deliveries for the farm, it just happened one day a week. Mm-hmm. And it was just a very nice, peaceful drive here to Somerset. So, and I would listen to an audiobook, so that wasn't as stressful either. So, but yeah. Awesome, so what did you think when NPR actually contacted you? Like, what was your first, uh, first impression? Oh, uh, actually, NPR didn't contact me per se. They contacted, I believe, someone in the marketing department here at mm-hmm. SEC, and then someone knew how hard working I was, and then they contacted me, mm-hmm. and they said, "Would you be interested on doing an interview for NPR?" And I said, "Yeah." I'd <laughs> <do that." laughs> uh, so, and it was. And this person called me right when I was making deliveries when I was coming back to London from here in Somerset. Mm -hmm. And so it was just spur of the moment thing. And she said that the uh, person would be available to interview me tomorrow. Mm. So that Wednesday. Mm. And it was kind of cool because that was also my last day of clinicals. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... My clinicals ended early, and then that afternoon I did the interview. So that was a pretty nice transition. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what, sorry, I didn't mean to go, No, go ahead. You're good. What was your, um, I guess, how did, how, what was the process like for NPRs interviewing you? Um, was it like a, did you go somewhere, or did they just do it through the internet, like via Zoom or some, some program like that? Like, what was the process, and how did it, just kind of walk us through how it went down. So, someone, the same person from the marketing department, they said, could you please meet me in the parking lot at Building 2 at the Laurel Campus, which is the access point to having internet in the parking lot. 
Um, so that's what I did. I took my, she asked me to bring my laptop and I did, brought it up, connected to the internet. And then we kind of had, it was either Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Mm-hmm. I can't remember, but the journalist from NPR sent me the link. Mm-hmm. And then he asked for the person in the marketing team to somehow download an app and I had to hold it to my, you know, to my face like mm-hmm. you would a regular phone. Mm-hmm. And that was a way for him to record my voice and get better quality. Mm. And then I would hear him through the laptop. Gotcha. Interesting. So okay. you may do with it. You may do. So mm-hmm. so another question I have is kind of, you know, kind of with us, you know, wrapping up the episode. What would you say is, uh, you know, really with us kind of walking into, uh, you know, the second half of 2020 and, uh, you know, hopefully not any type of second wave of the coronavirus, what would you say that, you know, we should, you know, what you would recommend to both students and both, you know, just, uh, you know, to graduates, um, you know, of college? What I would recommend to students yeah. is definitely keep your goal in mind. Mm-hmm. Surround yourself with positive, forward-thinking people. Mm-hmm. And if that even means you have immediate family members that are constantly negative, maybe you need to take a step back from them. Mm-hmm. Um, early on in my academic career, that was a p- issue with me. Mm-hmm. And luckily I had a friend who kind of pointed that out to me. And so I just had to take a step back, and I've felt much better ever since. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have progressed better, or excuse me, progressed more. Also, I would recommend to have a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. I know this is a much difficult time, but you can do it. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you can do it if you put your mind to it. What other, what obstacles you may have, you will find a way. You may have to get creative, Mm -hmm. but you will definitely find a way. I love it. I love it. Well, uh, this is Demarion Jones. I'm Noah Allen. Kristen Gibson. And I'm Allison Causey. And uh, we're signing out on SEC's The Gateway.